they're looking for cash donations or even things lying around your house like towels and bleach to help keep the shelter clean. You may remember April. That was the white cat that was thrown out of a car. Well, with help from the SPCA Suncoast, the folks there were able to nurse her back to health and send her home to a forever family. And they can only keep that up with the public's help. The SPCA Suncoast in Newport Ritchie is packed. We take in strays, we take in surrenders, like Samson, he's a surrender. Dogs and cats line the kennels of the shelter because they can't be adopted yet. We do not send an animal, cat or dog, back out into the community without being spayed or neutered. D Ford, president of the SPCA, says it can't provide those medical services right now because of a lack of funds. While there are several animals already available for adoption, more than 70 cats and dogs have to be spayed or neutered before they can even be considered to go to their forever home. Ford tells us they're also searching for a veterinarian to provide those medical services. Those poor little animals sit in the shelter, wait for a forever home. I don't know when that's going to happen because they have to have the surgery. The shelter receives no help from city, state or federal organizations. They rely solely on donations. I, I would think, you know, if we got $25,000, we would be, we would consider ourselves rich right now. If the SPCA cannot afford to keep the shelter open, they will have to close its doors. I don't even want to think about that, but um, we have other shelters that would take them, but they're all not shelters like us. They're all not no-kill shelters. We are. Well, since launching a GoFundMe cam campaign yesterday, the shelter has raised more than $10,000. You can also drop by the SPCA with any donations, cash or otherwise. And today it received a generous donation in the form of a $1,500 check from someone who lived on Miracle Lane. But any <laughs> amount helps, guys.